Hello everybody, Simulation Ali 007 here and welcome back to my channel. And today you join me at Milton's Keen Central on the West Coast Mainline South. And we're heading to a Wilsdon Euro Terminal Siding 2. Now as you can hear, the Class 66 idling in the background. But I thought, well, Train to Mod 5 needs a, a newer modern electric locomotive obviously we haven't got any for the english market for some reason the german locomotives don't work on it but the american do i've done this bad boy gb rail freight 98001 obviously hooked up to a class 66 and gbrf because of the coupling, it doesn't work on those ones. So we've had to do it like this. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I do have my keyboard with me, so we can do a drive-by. Let's go, shall we? Now, obviously, we can only go up to 75 miles an hour. That is due to freight in the UK maxing out at 75. We're going to try with no HUD for the minute, because why not? But I am in the process of making another livery for this, the De sorry, Beacon livery. So that'll be in the next livery show. Obviously, you've seen by now the um, Scotsman livery that I've made. But I'm also going to make the um, wartime black livery uh, of the Scotsman. And when the West Coast mainline north i think is the i think it's going to be called north well it's not it's the carlisle preston dlc but that's west coast mainline north i believe when that comes out i'll be making i think i've planned about five or six 87 liveries 
Obviously, we'll be doing the Caledonian Sleeper that goes on this line. A um, couple of BR liveries. Uh, Virgin Trains liveries we'll be making. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But I am getting extremely close to 75. <laughs> doing 74 so I'm gonna go about there obviously we don't have a like I said a modern electric locomotive for trains World 4 I did try the D sorry the German locomotives but if you remember there was the um, Vectron that worked on the uh, HS1 now we've got but it doesn't work here so I've had to compromise and this works so but I hope you enjoy the video It is quite a loud locomotive and it does look absolutely ridiculous in front of 66 because of the height difference but there we are, never mind. But yeah, that thing is too bad. Yeah, the next livery I'll be making is the Deacon livery where the blue goes all the way out to the curve so look forward to that so put the HUD on we've got 37 miles until the Euro terminal I've got the goodbye HST tour uh, coming out soon. I did record it a couple of weeks ago, but as soon as I got close to uh, Peterborough, I think it was about six miles away from Peterborough, in the new formation that I've made, new livery, and the game just crashed. So, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Alright, we are climbing here, so you've got to put a little bit more power down we're just going to change the HUD a sec, bear with for some reason it's coming up really uh, dark, I don't know why but never mind as long as I've got the um, the signals we're all okay so I hope you're having a wonderful day today, or night, depending on when you're watching this. If you are wondering why I'm in the fast lane where the Pendolinos and other express passenger trains go and not the actual track over there, is because for some reason it doesn't want me to go over there. In every video I've tried especially with the um, steam locomotive video I'd done that I had a Jubilee rail tour I couldn't go on the slow lane just wouldn't allow it but never mind can't really actually see how how far we've got so I do apologise about that oh yeah 35 there we go We're now going 36, so we can ease off the power a bit. I did want to do just the um, just this locomotive with the containers on it. 
but because the coupling is different over in America compared to over here, the um, excuse me. Oh god, I'm tired. Oh, excuse me, I do apologise. The coupling system isn't compatible. So I've had to put a 66 on the back to make it compatible. But there is a station coming up, and as we have a keyboard, we can do a drive-by. So we're going to do one just in a minute. Right, let's do it. There we go. We do actually have a couple of amber lights coming up. Oh no, there we go, it's gone green. All good. It does even tell us the cab signal aspect. It does tell us what it is, so we could just go straight off that. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh. I do apologise. I just wanted to record this video before I forget and then never record it. Because that's the thing I would do. Because my memory is like a sieve. Full of holes. <laughs> How far we got left? We have 31 miles. So hopefully this video isn't too long. We are probably holding up a bunch of pendolinos, but I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. If it's not going to allow us on the slow lane, then we've just got to just trundle along at 75 instead of 125. I will try to get onto the slow lane, so let's actually try that before it lags out. Let's try to get on the slow lane. Oh my god, come on. Come on. It's not going to allow me, is it? Oh my god. Try further down. Nope, not going to allow us. We are climbing, so we are losing a tiny bit of speed. There we go, I started to gain again. If you're wondering where the Train Sim World Locomotives How Strong Are They series has gone. Don't worry, it is still running. I'm just waiting for the essentially the East Coast Mainline diesel pack to release because I don't know what locomotives are in there and if it's Deltics or Class 50s or 55s, well that is Deltic, or anything else I don't want to have to basically do it all over again. So I just want what we've got after the diesel pack and then I'll go from there. Obviously we'll have the electrics, electric locomotive in there as well. So uh, yeah, but it is not gone forever. I'm just waiting for that to release. When it's going to release, I don't know, so it might be a long wait. But I might, in turn, do um, the Steam 
this so we've got four steam locomotives i can't see any more steam being released sadly unless a third party does it hopefully but we'll have to see must be climbing because we're still losing speed If you have any ideas of liveries I can do or any video ideas that you have, comment down below. I am working on something new for the channel, as in not train sim mod 5 or train spotting in real life or anything else, something new, completely new to the channel. I am working on something, so stay tuned. Um, going to be exciting hopefully bring in some new viewers it's not um, model railway or I'm not making my own model railway I haven't got room yet but um, we'll have to see what brings around the corner because you never know what's gonna happen or who's gonna come about Hopefully my audio is a lot better because I've actually plugged in my headphones and they're not dead like they were last time. On the day of recording, if you are following my Instagram page, I have seen today the Paddington in Peru GWR 802106 for the first time amazing livery how long it's going to stay on there I have no idea I have heard it's a temporary livery which is sad because it brings something new to GWR and it's not just plain boring just names I get the name thing but Eddie Stobart started that <laughs> well they probably did but Eddie Stewart has got names on their trucks GWR need more different liveries like LNER has got the poppy livery they've got the Scotland livery they've got save our planet they've got other liveries hold trains paragon they've got some good they've got a good livery uh, Vanti West Coast when the the um, Virgin or Virgin Train shall I say they had some really good liveries i.e. X-Men um, business livery the liveries I've done basically yeah they've got the Grainbow and that's pretty much it they did used to have oh wipers Right, uh, wipers, 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 uh, hello, ah, windshield wipers, hang on, we're going through a tunnel, <laughs> typical, I'm going to start braking because we're going a little bit over the speed. Slow.
Yeah, it must be going down into sand here. Next station, we will do a um, drive-by, so we're not just keeping it as a driver's view. the brakes so that was the electric brakes I believe I was using and now we're just coasting what I'm planning to do is when the okay that was a noise when the Preston Carlisle DLC comes out I will be getting it and I'll do a review well not review a preview of it as will loads of other channels but very excited to uh, play it right station coming up we will uh and my phone needs charging. Great. Right, we're going to fast track to the station to do a drive by. Only 17 miles, not bad. If you are enjoying this video so far, smash that like button. And if you are new to the uh, channel, punch that subscribe button as it helps my channel grow. And it lets me know that you guys and girls like this type of content and I will keep making more. Let's do an outside view again, shall we? I don't think I've done a too bad a job. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I do hope the class 57 comes out with the um, connectors for the Pendolino. Really do hope because the class 37 that we've got does have that, but the braking system doesn't work. So every time we brake on the th class 37 with the Pendolino on the back, it just does not like it. 
so I that's why I haven't done a rescue mission with it because it's just such a difficult thing to do and you, obviously you can't connect anything to the class 37 unless it's with those connectors so it's a bit annoying and I've tried it with the class 66 with those type of connectors but the, the connector is too low so I can't do it which is a bit annoying I think we're coming up to, I believe, we are coming up to, um, oh, what's that, Watford Junction. Yes, 13 miles until our Euro t um, terminal, that's it. Twelve miles to go, and those lights are extremely bright. <laughs> there we go. Miserable weather in England. If it was in Cornwall, I would say welcome to Cornwall, because it's always raining down here. God, excuse me, I do apologise. Watford Junction. This is where I want to go, Watford Junction. Eventually, when I eventually get up to the West Coast Main Line. I do want to go in... Or well, any time between December this year and 2030. Because... Trains are now going to be diverted to to London Euston and not Paddington because the HS2 construction. So uh, I can go straight to there, do a train spotting video. Well, actually, I could do a route visual from Reading because I believe it splits off at Reading. That goes to Reading to London Euston. That's a route visual. Train spotting at London Euston. That's another video, so that's two. Route visual to Watford Junction, that's three. Train spotting at Watford Junction, that's four. And obviously all the others that I've already said in my um, video that I've done. Putting a little bit of power down as we're losing a little bit of speed. How far we got left? Just under nine miles to go. 
that was my phone. Hopefully the message I've been now. Been waiting for one message and it hasn't gone through yet, so Gonna coast here now. Yeah, gonna start breaking actually. Got a freight train actually coming up. Underground and Pendolino. That's three trains in like a span of 30 seconds we've just seen then. And I've got to start braking. And I've got. F oh no, it's alright. Alright, got to get down to. Fifty in a minute. I'm gonna start the train break. That's the London Overground. I will be doing a video on that soon when it's gonna come out, I don't know. I haven't recorded it yet. Just going to release the brakes here. We're at 60. We're 59 now. Okay, going to start braking again. Okay, I don't know why I've been put into the slow lane. Well, I should have been put here ages ago. I'm 
now it means we're more than likely going to see a pendolino go past. How far we got? 2.9 miles. Not going to waste any time getting up to speed. Okay, we've got a red light. have to really brake here so we don't go past that red signal. What does that say? Move up and wait. Okay. I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Up there. Well, I don't think it's done too bad, to be fair. On his first tr trial run on heavy freight, it's done pretty good. There we go. I believe we're going to be pulling into an empty yard. Or are we? Let's have a look. No. Yeah, empty yard. We could have been pulled into there, but never mind. believe we're, yep, pulling off here. Right, got to get down to 10. For some reason. This way, maybe. We're at ten miles an hour anyway, so what seven? Ah, oh, that's why, because of the tight curve there. Again, here. Hey. 
Candelino. How fast are we going? Eight miles an hour. Oh, that's lovely. We got a big descent. How fast is it saying we can go? Only 10. Saying 45? No, it's still saying 10. They're climbing up the hill, is it? Jesus, yeah, it is. Oh no, we can go 20. That was a bit quick then. Well, we are being stopped here for some reason. I'll be right back when we can go. Okay, so we can go. Gotta love wheel slip. Sand, sand, sand. Where are you? Oh, God. Right. Uh, be right back. We're okay. We're finally on the move again. It did not like that at all. With the 1.5% incline and the heavy weight of the freight, the wheels were just slipping on the wet rails. But we're okay, we're getting there now. Obviously, the uh, 66 is still in idle. With the Pendolino racing past. As you can see, not even the reverser is in.
believe we're up the hill. Yes. And the rain is horrendous now. Compared to what it was. Um, how is that working? I have no idea. So apparently the game thinks there's a pen pentagraph up there. Unless I'm not actually breaking. Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm not there just yet. Yeah, the game thinks there's a pentagraph of a... Hang on, is that yellow? Yes, it is. We're just going to ignore there's no... Um, pentagraph lines. Three Hundred yards. So there we are. We are now in the depot where the train would get shunted under those cranes and be unloaded so with that being said i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did smash a like button if you're new to the channel punch out the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye for now